Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today we will continue speaking regarding uh, warpets. We already did a bunch of them and today it's time to do a Ice Lizard guide. Uh, and we will be speaking regarding everything, attributes, skills, hero peers and so on. So let's start. First of all, as always, I will say that quality always matters. Let's try to get the legendary one, which is pretty hard, but it is worth it. 30% is great amount. As always, we will start talking regarding attributes at first. And I will say that Ice Lizard is a mage warpet. We have one uh, mage uh, warpet, which is uh, Sapphire Fair Drake. And Ice Lizard is second one. As you can see, I have only advanced quality. I tried to get a good quality pet, but it is really hard. So I will showcase the Ice Lizard with the advanced quality, but I will be speaking which will be the perfect options for you to get. Uh, so first of all, we will speak regarding attributes. Which attributes should be good on the Ice Lizard? It's uh, pretty normal. Intelligence and Spirit. It is the two attributes which are normally good for the mage or pets. And if we can see, uh, like if you have an epic quality uh, ice lizard, try to get A and A uh, on intelligence and spirit. And if you have a legendary one, try to get S and S on the S on intelligence and S on uh, spirit. Regarding strength and agility and endurance. Uh, strange is like for our auto attackers, agility is for something else, endurance is for tanks and luck. Maybe you can have like third option as a luck on the ice lizard. Uh, as you can see, they changed the interface of the attributes. Uh, like uh, before it was with the plus, with 0 0.92 and so on. This 0 0.92 means that per level this pet is getting 0 0.92. If you want to see the base attributes, it's here, like on a one level pet, you can see the base attributes. Uh, most important uh, in the pet section is skills. That's how we can determine how good this pet is. And the main skill of the Ice Lizard is Ice Core, which is basically the pet will be will getting the uh, orbs, which will be dealing damage to a uh, uh, couple of legions uh, nearby. It's an intelligence spell, uh, which means intelligence will be amazing for this pet. So, regarding other uh, skills for this pet, as you already know, there is synergies with the talent skills, and of course, Ice Lizard has its own synergies. Uh, for example, Ice Core is a main skill, uh, and you can upgrade the Ice Core with the... Uh, let me check, it should be here, with Forceful Ice Core. The forceful ice call is just giving you more damage and it's also determined by intelligence. And we also got third skill for the ice lizard, which is uh, split ice core, which is determined by spirit. As I said, the main attributes for this uh, pet is intelligence and spirit. The split ice core is like, it, it just gives you additional uh, damage for legions. And with every spirit, you are getting extra uh, damage for, for the enemy. Which means the higher your spirit is, more damage your, your uh, war pet, your ice lizard will deal. Regarding other skills, as you can see, we already have a good synergy. Ice core, uh, the forceful ice core, and the uh, split ice core is the main skills for this pet. And after that, we can just add, add some skills, which we think we will be good uh, in the fighting. Well, in my opinion, uh, Legion Magic Attack will be amazing for this pet. And of course, you should already know that you can only have three of the same attributes of the skills. Which means, Ice Core is Intelligence skill. Uh, the forceful ice core is intelligence and we can also add one more intelligence spell and it will be in my opinion bolt from the blue and the bolt from the bull is a passive skill which will grant our legion some magic attack and as you as you already know this pet is for mages and this pet this spell will be amazing for uh, the ice lizard 
we already uh, spent all our intelligence spell uh, intelligence skills and after that we can just think about how we can use uh, ice lizard in a different way uh, without intelligence spells because we can only have three intelligence spell and this um, third synergy spell is spirit and we can add up some spirit spells which can be uh, not amazing but like other than the talent skills any other skill are just additional skills which we can think that will be good uh, in the future regarding other spirit spells uh, we can choose from a different uh, ways like even magic spirits will be cool because this uh, ice lizard is dealing a uh, pet skill damage magic war speed damage and crit damage is pretty good on anything in this game because crit is like double damage on anything right that's why i suggest you to choose either like magic spirits or uh, like for example for example yeah, magic spirit is pretty good, and other than that, I, as I said, it will be bolt of the blue. And if you want to have like some healing in your pet, you can add uh, some healing uh, for yourself. Uh, like for example, uh, like pure strength will be like just debuff removal. Maybe your legion is getting a lot of debuffs and you want to remove them, and it can be triggered every ten seconds. You can just get a Legion HP. HP is never bad because higher HP, the more damage you deal because more troops you have in general, right? Uh, so this is my main build uh, for the Ice Lizard. First is Ice Core. Second is Forceful Ice Core. Third one should be a Split Ice Core. A fourth skill uh, will be, in my opinion, Magic Spirits. And fifth skill will be uh, Bolt of the Blue, which is giving our Legion magic attack. Now uh, it's time for us to speak uh, regarding heroes, on which heroes this Ice Lizard will be good. Like, in my opinion, any Mage Legion, like Waldir, uh, Welin, uh, even Alwyn can be good. Like, anything which is dealing magic damage, which has a magic attribute, this pet will be amazing. Right, and of course you can see the synergy. Like Ice Lizard is has a spells with ice, and Waldir has all the spells with ice, and also Welin has every spell with ice. Right, so it's like if you, if you don't want to spend a lot of time reading and finding out what's the perfect combination for the pets and the heroes, just look at these look at the skills of the pets. And look at the uh, the images of the hero skills, right? In my opinion, best version of the uh, Ice Lizard the heroes are Waldir and Welin. If you want to have a Welin as the primary hero, it will also work. And if you want to have a Waldir as a primary hero, it will also work. And I think there is some synergies uh, regarding. Ice Lizard and Walder and Welling because Ice uh, because Walder is giving like Gloom uh, and Gloom is like additional synergy with Ice Lizard. Uh, that's the uh, heroes. I think the Ice Lizard will be good. Uh, well, Ethius can be fine, but with Ethius you need to have a flying uh, warpet because uh, like Ethius in general is a flying hero, right? As you can see, this icon says that flying hero, and if you have a ground uh, war pet with the flying uh, heroes uh, they won't gonna fly from through the terrains so it's preferably for you to have flying heroes on a flying uh, with the flying war pets. so we just have a limited um, conditions right now like either Waldir or Welling uh, maybe you want to use Alwyn and as you already know I'm not a free to play player and I don't have Lilia and with Lilia, it can be also uh, it can also work, but it it won't gonna be a perfect combination. Perfect combination, in my opinion, is Waldir and Welling. Uh, that's uh, regarding the heroes which you can be using uh, this uh, Ice Lizard Warped. We already did a couple of them, like we already did Snoopy Croc, we already did Berserker Phaedric and Sapphire Phaedric. We already did both beers. 
And the next one I think will be uh, regarding Venomous Lizard. So be in touch. I'm uploading like every two, every, once every two days. Uh, I'm not going to stop uploading uh, videos regarding this game because I'm playing every day, non-stop, because I like games which are getting updates uh, pretty uh, easily without not breaking the game, right? Uh, so this is the guide regarding Ice Lizard. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you have a different opinion, maybe you, want, you think that Ice Lizard can be used with a different playstyle, please share, because this game is a learning curve. Uh, somebody, maybe somebody uh, have a bit better experience regarding this game with Ice Lizard or anything which I will say uh, about this game in my videos. So, please be open. I'm always open with the criticism and I will just continue doing what I love. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.